Oh yeah, it's Chris and Derek from Penny's Hot Rods and Customs again. Uh, just gonna start to work on the Model A. Last last time you saw this is pushing it in the garage, I believe, or getting it in the garage. Um, so we've cleaned out the interior, just the miscellaneous parts. It's a 28-29 Model A. Uh, original back seat, I believe. The front's been recovered with some nice black and some nice seat covers. Oh, white. That's, I don't know. That's looking pretty uh, moldy there. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so we're going to start working on this. The plan is, this is Ryan's. The plan is as of today uh ryan wants to put a flathead v8 in it and the s10 uh five speed into it so with an over so it has an overdrive so that's gonna require some a little bit of engineering motor mounts tranny mounts uh keeping the rear diff i believe yes. so modify or uh getting the adapter from a tor torque tube um and a little bit more work on me and Derek's part but it shouldn't be that difficult body wise surface rust no rot really uh the previous owner fix has, has done some fixing already of rot there's a major dent right here that's our first can be our first project uh, but basically we're going to do this not cheaply, but cheap enough and not, we're not going to throw millions of dollars at this thing. Uh, we're just going to like Ryan bought a, just recently bought a flathead V8. Uh, supposedly it's been re rebuilt years ago and it still runs and dries good, no cracks. So we're basically going to just open it up, regasket it, throw it in there. Um, and that's about it, paint it and all that. And we're not gonna, we we'll probably won't take the body off. We'll probably lift it, unbolt it enough to get the splash, the aprons off, clean those up, um, put new wood in it. The roof, definitely, uh, the previous, or someone, has put a piece of plywood over it and then just fiberglass over top and then painted it black. So that's shot. The original roof bows are all gone or in bad shape. So probably have to get a wood kit. That's where Ryan comes in with the money. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, then Ryan wants to put juice brakes on it. So you gotta get, get the parts for that. So that engine's gonna come out, but I think for today, um, we'll probably pull out the front seats, pull out the back seats, and see what, maybe take this fender off. Come around this side, you can see the dent more clearly. So it looks like it was hitting, hit here uh, push that in with the fender and someone's replaced the fender because this fender is in decent shape uh, so it can't be that one hit but so we'll pull off the fenders see how far we get anyways because it should fit fairly tight yeah like this fender here And then it will get, yeah, we'll strip it all down. It's going to get paint. Um, I think Ryan wants it blue, like sort of an original style bluish. Uh, I'm guessing the fenders are going to be black. Fenders, running board, black. It's going to have to obviously get a new tire here. This one's got some issues. Oh, it's a couple more miles left on it. <laughs> But it did come with some, uh, actually some good new parts. It came with a full set of uh, caps. 
it came with well some model ace brand new lifters brand new uh valves uh for a model a brand new springs which we're not going to use ryan can use that on a dip, on one of his other projects uh these are aftermarket we believe yeah they look very nice they look too good to to be original uh brand new rad cap brand new gas cap so yeah hope brand new horn it looks like yeah, it looks so, too good someone's put some money into this in the past and it was when we did buy this it was a running and driving ish car um it didn't run well it <laughs> had the compression like of one pound of compression but that was and uh ryan's definitely i think he's got better bumpers better chrome sure. bumpers so that's not an issue ryan's got a bunch of parts for these i'm not worried about that he's just gonna have to pony up the money get new rubbers new roof bows new tires stuff like that general stuff but we'll try and make make mounts ourselves make tranny crop mount ourselves uh, yeah figure out where the master cylinders go never done a v8 well, I've never, I've actually never worked on one of these things before, so this will be first for me. I've taken parts off these things, but that's about it. And then, especially putting a flathead V8 in it, uh, that'll be a first. Even though it's a, it should be a simple, fairly simple thing. They do fit in it. It's been done millions of times, so I'm pretty sure there's YouTube videos out there that we can learn from <laughs> to do that, but. Yeah, hopefully keep it basically keeping it basically looking stock, just flathead V8 with a five speed in it, and so Ryan can get a little bit, a little bit more speed on the highway and not really gas wound, but speed because I'm not, sh I'm pretty sure these are geared very, uh, very low or high, whatever term you use. I think you'd be like. I'm not sure. Do yeah. 74? As I said, I've really never worked on a Model A. I've looked at them, but never really got into the nitty gritty of working on these things. So now it's time. So, so it'll become more of a hot rod when that gets out. Oh, yeah. Not sure how hot roddy ish Ryan's gonna go if he's gonna go to oh, oh you no he did say he wanted to put dual carbs on it yeah so he wants to put dual not sure about uh in or a heads if he's gonna go with fin or stock heads don't know yet but I'm guessing he's gonna go with finned heads mm. they just yeah they just look better uh so yeah we'll start. Unbolting the seats and getting those out and start working. Start working on this turd. Yeah. Then we'll also be taking breaks in between this, going work on the Fury too, because we've got an engine for the Fury now. We've got I've got motor mounts coming. Uh, we'll discuss that when we start working on there. But I got motor mounts, gasket set, sets coming. Gonna buy a floor pan for it soon, so things are looking up. Hey, okay, front seats are out. Found a floor mat in the back. I don't know if this is original. Uh, have to do some research, or but it does say Phaeton, 1931, and then a 28, and then it says two door. So. It could be aftermarket, I don't know. No, no. Might use it, who knows. But it's in decent shape. All the wood, I don't know if that's been replaced or that's new, old, but it's, yeah. No shit, oh, okay, poop. I think you can say shit. Oh, okay. I don't want to offend anybody. Get that out of my way. Yeah, I'm 
is. I'm assuming that's been replaced. Yeah, replaced. That's replaced. Oh yeah, that's it's been ply stained. That, yeah, that's plywood. Yeah. Someone had putting a bit of work in yeah. here. As long as some critter doesn't run out. Probably doing this backwards, but hey. Something living in the back there one time. Yeah, hopefully not right now. We're gonna have to get another garbage bag. Something's springy. Oh. <clears throat> See Christopher sweat here. I don't think these seats are any good. I believe the seats are garbage. Yeah. We're going to reupholster it. Uh, I think the frame is. Oh, the finger shot too. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's what uh, it's like steel wire, I guess. But yeah, this it's all. Do we need it? I don't know. If we can put the frame around it again, that's not a big deal. Maybe. But it's all, it's all, this frame is all rotten. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's all rotten here. Oh. Um, so, I don't know. Can we fix it? I don't know. All right. The wood frame is... I guess you want to put gloves on or something? Oh yeah, the wood frame's gone. Yeah, the wood frame's gone. Oh yeah. Well, that's no problem to make. No, that's... It's, that's, it's this... Uh, well, it's that, all... Well, I might actually live for another day, Chris. Mm. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Ryan might be able to uh, dig up some parts. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, those people. Mouth was living there. So I'm thinking that this car was originally green. Huh. That looks pretty good. I'll get another garbage bag. Sure yeah, that. green and uh, I'm guessing that's the original green cloth. Well, the green blue, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that's definitely green. Well, it's definitely green. Huh. Like, I know this has been painted. Yeah. But that wouldn't have been... I, don't, I can't see someone doing no that. No one would have painted that. This thing must have sat in the barn for many years somewhere. I would like to know the whole history of this car. I don't think that'll happen. Oh, great. I just, just swept the floor. Took about 100 pounds of dust off of it. Yeah. And now we got mice poop all over it again. <laughs> oh, yeah. With, uh, with your, oh, that's your tag number. Some sort of tag. Hmm. This one's. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to better. see, but. Get the ugly parts out. Yeah. No. It might be something we just make a wooden frame with some foam and some material. Yeah. Get rid of the springs. The amount of people are going to be sitting in the back of this thing. The two front seats will be more important. Yeah. Casey will sit in the back. Sure. He only weighs what 80 pounds soaking mm -hmm. wet, so. Check it out. I thought these were all nuts on this side. Well, a mixture. Oh, okay. But you're right, they have been out before. That one did not. Oh, fell off. How many more do I got? And then there's the two for the running running board. Have to come off. Oh, great. We gotta take the tire off too. Do we? Yeah, we come up right back behind uh, the tire. Alright. 
Oh yeah, I see what you need yeah. to do. He looks smaller. Definitely. Half inch? Okay. Right, I'll grab the jack and jack this sucker up. There's the crusty seat. Somewhat cleaned out. Found out where it's dented over there. And looks fairly decent. This the studs holding it or? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's new because it's got the plastic core in. Okay. What do you want to have? I don't know. And there's our damage. Yeah, and this is. In, yeah, there's. It looks like a dent right okay. there. You want me to pound the dent, or are you doing it? Uh, you can pound it. There's even a crack right there, I see. But these are in decent shape. It's been fixed. Previous owner fixed that and that. Put a little patch in there. Good enough for this thing. Got your flashlight? Ooh, maybe we should put a jack stand. <laughs> yeah. You put them all outside? Uh, yeah, I put them all outside. Okay. We're cleaning up, so. Oh, I have one right here. We need a roof rack, too. Yeah. Okay, just gonna let it down a bit. There we go. Okay. And we're going to vacuum it out as soon as we get some uh, filters for shock vac. Yep, go ahead. I don't know. It came out pretty, like... Yeah, I'm trying to judge from the other side. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing I'm trying to do... Check right at the... Yeah, we got to come in or out? I think out. Yeah. 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 Do you kick it out some of it? A little bit. We'll probably have to do it like a proper dolly and hammering yeah, I'm job, but doing yeah, but here there was a uh oh, there's still a crease right yeah, there. Yeah, right right there. But this looks well off the okay. this came out. What is my nice uh Probably in the bucket up front. Okay, okay so we've uh, hammered it out. And if you lift, lift the fender up, we still got some smoothing to do there, but that's a hundred percent. Yeah, that's good enough. Put a beat, nice bead in there, and you won't notice it. Perfect. Yeah, I know it's a crack there. I'm gonna weld up those little dents making me stay. 
Well, you can choose a patch job, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, like that. that's fine. Okay. Yep. That was the probably the hardest part body work, I think, <laughs> dent-wise on this car. <laughs> and it, basically in 20 minutes, it's almost done. Yeah. Only if all projects would be like this. Yeah. You yeah. actually get somewhere. <laughs> yeah, and so far I haven't seen any rot really. So they fixed that. So that's been fixed. I don't see anything on the floor. So I'll have to wait until we get the roof off the fiberglass and see what's. But I think all the wood's got to come out. It's pretty rough here. Yeah. Some of it. So that's. That side's good. This side is. There's no. No rust there. It hasn't been fixed. No rust on the bottom doors. So. That's a win. Yeah. This is our. There was some stuff there. But well, that's already been filled and patched. So. Defenders, to be honest, are not that terrible. No. Yeah, there's. I, that's about the worst of it. We can fix that. I've yep. seen worst. I've done worst. Yep. Hey, uh, start taking the glass out, maybe? So okay. that doesn't uh, break? Yeah, that'd probably be a smart idea and get it out of here. Yeah. It's got all original glass except for the driver's door. It's uh, a laminated piece, so figured uh that's got to be replaced obviously yeah. all the other stuff is uh single panes to pull that off but then we need to find our puller it's stuck on the shoes shoes have been replaced Some bolts came out, some had to be ground. Unlike the other fender where it was obviously replaced. This one might have some factory bolts in it, so they didn't come out nicely. Yeah, that's rusted. No, it's already it was already disconnected. Okay. Now that is sort of looking like original. It doesn't even have a it has a pocket of a bead, or unless someone pulled the bead the plastic bead out. I I mean she's the original. Yeah. Cause the way the bolt came out there was a rock. Yeah. Well, I don't know because you got spray. Well, you could. I don't know. Yeah. I can't tell you for sure. It's not rotten. Okay. It's, it's a bunch of surface rust, but. I'm pretty, pretty impressed. 
yeah usually they're uh, quite rotten that's all good well look at this way in four years five years this thing's a hundred years old yep anybody that's a hundred years old and still look this good <laughs> <laughs> for you. <laughs> I'm getting ride on by 40 year old Ryan. Someone can make a joke about that. <laughs> Decided uh, not to do the glass today, but to get the running boards and the fenders off. This running board, no rock. Not sure if that's factory rubber or not. But. Derek had to grind off most of the bolts. As you can see, grinding more bolts. Carriage bolts and just spinning. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just this bolts on that, which are all looks like they loose, but they're getting grinded off. And it has some issues. Issues there. This is all all bondo in there. Someone just bonded it while it was on the on the car. Yeah, it's been cracked there, so they just bonded it over. Um, coke? yeah, another coke. Oh, yeah, I think Derek's pulled off or ground off the last of the uh, sheet metal screws. Oh, it's this bolt. That one will give me problems. Yeah, uh, you got a screwdriver. I might be able to just pry it up. There it goes. Oh yeah. A bit of repair. Some issue there. Yeah, I think that piece is not supposed to be there. I don't know. There's a piece. It's been, yeah, it's bonded over, nailed on. So that's an old fix. I don't know. I don't know that kind of shirt for no. 95 years. Yeah, and this is what I expected. Need some. Need some fixing there, but other than that, it's not too bad. There's not that much body work to do on it. No. no. Nope. Definitely getting all brand new bolt and not Mac. This guy had four different styles. Yeah, there's. Oh, here's another style. Here's a. F That's a flathead. 
tapered fl tapered flathead so yeah. yeah there's lots of different stuff on this like you say we never get into it hard but oh man we'll be getting into this right down to the last yeah we started off saying oh yeah it's gonna be an easy fix just we always say that every time. Sand it down and paint it and yeah. pull the motor, put a new one in, but no. It doesn't happen to your family. Never. <laughs> I'm cursed. Yeah, because <laughs> we're pulling the motor transmission. These have to be split. The fronts have to be split. I don't know if we. it's easier just to swap the rear end. That's going to be Ryan's decision. Yeah. Uh, juice brakes are definitely going on there so and then you gotta decide well do you replace the shocks are the shocks shot we're just free labor <laughs> yeah free labor <laughs> free suckers <laughs> but the running board looks good oh yeah it's nice shape very nice shape factory um red primer or with a little bit of rust underneath it or someone painted painted over over top of it i'm not sure it's it seems very thick paint yeah. so usually they always rushed out right in here right in here and yeah that's, that's in very nice shape we haven't taken we'll do the next the other side another day but just seeing what else has to be done we'll take the probably the next time take the apron off and the other fenders off other front fenders hoods off light bars off yeah start bagging and tagging some of this stuff and putting putting it away in storage until we're ready for it Should be a fun project. Yeah. It's nothing too nothing too hard. It's, no, no. But yeah. But we've never we own well, those guys own a bunch of Model A while well, Ryan does and Kevin does, but no one's really kept talking about money, I'm hoping. Yeah. It's did too much. Down to money. Yeah. Ryan's probably the only one that's basically worked on these things a lot, like, enough, but he's never put a flathead in it. So that's going to be new for everything. So I think we will leave this here. As always, like, share, subscribe, and comment, and... Say how wonderful we are and stroke our ego, egos and all that stuff. And we'll see you on the next one.